All right, uh, greetings everyone. This is Bomani Tayemba. Welcome to our Africa for the Africans Tours and Investments conference call. And today's date is Sunday, March 17th. So our uh, family, uh, we're going to get into our conference call and talk about uh, the subjects that we uh, sent out, which was based on talking about uh, upcoming tours to uh, Ghana, May and December, uh, South Africa in November. So what I'm going to do, since uh, for the most part what I'm doing is do my best to make sure that we have everything updated on our website, africaforthafricans.org, and um, as far as um, videos, we have everything uh, uploaded, uplaid, uploaded or updated on our YouTube channel, and same thing with the photos on Facebook and just using those um, two popular networks, um, which a lot of people use. Uh, so, and it just works out with those better than whatever other option I had uh, for photos and videos. So the links is always available on the website once you get to the website AfricaForAfricans.org for YouTube and Facebook to access the tons of uh, photos and uh, videos of all of our previous tours. All right, and for those who are not familiar with the website, uh, once you get to AfricaForAfricans.org. Um, whether you're using your desktop, laptop, your phone, or any um, uh, device, it's all set to work on all those devices. However, uh, as far as the, the music, the MP3 three player on the left when you first get on the website, and also the slideshow, which is uh, just a collection of 2004 to uh, 2016 uh, photos. Uh, and that's all saying that um, have more flexibility just to have the photos uh, viewed on Facebook. Uh, so, but my goal is to still put more photos, uh, new photos on the website as much as I can in the galleries um, without slowing the website down. Yeah. So, um, when you use a desktop on your on your laptop, you can access uh, the, the music and the photos. Beyond that, uh, it's disabled for the other medium because it's um, it would literally just slow your phone down or slow down your uh, tablet. If anyone uses these devices and for some reason you can't you know, access the website, definitely let me know. My goal is to make sure it works on every single thing that um, folks come up with as far as just getting access to a website or online information. Another thing I added to the website lately is just uh, the mailing list and it's just for those who are not on the mailing list and whenever um, online and doing interviews or doing any kind of videos, it's a quick way for someone just to put themselves on the mailing list and and also it's a quick access to uh, all of the latest newsletters because uh, once you sign up on the mailing list, uh, you know, you're automatically set to just get newsletters and the newsletters that are sent out are deals with just anything that I have as far as Africa tours and investment. That's uh, the only subject or the only thing I send out these emails on. Try not to bother anybody else or uh, anything else. So once again, once you're on the website, uh, AfricaForAfricans.org, you go to the left and you click on uh, Join Our Mailing List. And then once you click on that, you'll see a list of all of the previous newsletters. Uh, so that just gives you access to all of them. And then uh, scrolling down um, to the um, main menu of our website, you'll see Garvey Town Community in Ghana. For those who are traveling to Ghana with us and that's interested in land, um, acquiring land in Ghana or setting up a business or just doing anything like that, uh, that information is there for clarity for the future of what we're looking to do. And Garvey Town is also on our itinerary as far as a business conference and also at the end of the tour, we actually go to the land site. So things like that are available for just those who are interested in general. Um, do my best to make sure that everything that we have and any kind of tours or investment we have is right there on the main menu and all of the details and everything is all there. So you will see uh, legal documents on there and also memorandum of understanding. Those are old documents. Um, that you know you you try to you try to scan crop and work your best to make it look good. So uh, last year I was I was working on those things. So 
those are the latest two things on the website and the, on the Agarvi Town link on the website, the legal documents and also the memorandum of understanding. Uh, so it's a combined total of 13 articles and that's uh, literally just all the information I was able to gather in the last few months. And also saying for anyone that's looking to do any business in this, any, of these, any of these countries that we travel to, just make sure that you have all your, make sure it, everything checks out as far as legal paperwork and things like that, and more so with land. So those are some you know, basic uh, documents um, that we had our lawyers look over and clear it and all the main professional people that deal with uh, there in Ghana. So um, you know, that way we just make sure that we're able to assist people in getting certain things as far as land and you know, giving you a good connection where we can even handle all of the administration, all of the things for you. And that's really based on this this over a decade of land drama. And uh, so basically I put all of my own folks on this project and um, it's all set to where we handle everything for those who are looking to move into a community and help build a community. All right, so for those who are interested in that, uh, once you look to the information, you can just send me an email or just give me a call and we can talk about what you read over. And next are the things that uh, we have the donation for repatriation village in Ghana. So that was what we set up originally in Techiman, but now this is with uh, Garvey Town, and that's uh, for looking to build extra resources to get the project moving as fast as possible. So that's what I've been on and make sure that we have you know, all the financial resources to pay all the right people and get things in place. So that's going well and that's going well based on experience and just trying to deliver a nice community and make sure that we have all the things in place to make it work. All right. So again, I really spent the last like four few months just really on this. Uh, and the last, and the other thing I've worked on is just a new date for our tour. Um, so we have Ghana tour December 2019, and uh, which allows me to work to build South Africa um, every uh, November, starting with November 2019, and then our next tour, our Ghana tour, May 2019, which we have almost uh, two months uh, coming up. So right now on that tour. Ghana, May 2019, working on finalizing all of the people that we have. Right now it's 25 of us all together and then we have two people on standby and maybe a few other people may join. So uh, numbers have dropped because some people went on the previous tour um, in November and then some also tr was transferred to the December tour coming up. And that's just based on their request for, based on whatever reason, you know, it's a s simple thing for me. Just if you are not ready and the time is catching up and for all the different reasons, which I can imagine many different things, uh, I can easily, you know, two, as long as it's like two months before we leave, I can make those adjustments for you without any loss of cost or anything. So it's something that I've worked out with some people. So I try to have the, the flexibility of these tours. That's why it's just easier. When you're doing like Ghana, you have two, or you have an annual, you can always just work things out for someone and make it work. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, you know these journeys are full, so it also allows for the flexibility of moving people around. And that's how we was able to actually build that uh, November journey we just came from, a holiday special journey. So talking about the, the main journey, uh, just like everything else on the uh, main menu, it's uh, just a link, and once you click on it, it is a lot of information. Uh, so that's the flow of how this website is set. I did build this website from uh, 2007, so uh, it has been updated, in, uh, but I still find this the way the files are organized because that's the best thing about this website is this is a content management system, and when you're doing all these tours and investment, you, know, you want to make sure you have documentation for people to read. Uh, so. Today we're going to look to uh, all of the uh, articles that I usually have on the Ghana tours. Uh, so I'll read, uh, read it down all the way down to the last article and the only article I'm going to really read and expand on is um, the last article. And the same for uh, South Africa. I'm just going to go through everything all at one time. Uh, you click on the South Africa tour link if you're interested and the only thing I'm looking to go through is just the same as the um, 
Tugano list, which is the uh, departure and reminder list, and it's the same exact uh, list that we built. Only difference is a you know, few things it talks about based on just the relevance of South Africa or Ghana. But it's basically a travel guide, a travel list, uh, organized travel thoughts of all of the things that you may want to think of as far as getting ready to departure, and then everything that you need to remind yourself of also. Uh, so. You know, things like uh, calling the bank, letting them know that you may want to use your visa card uh, internationally and things like that. So those are the things I'm going to go through from 1 to 30. Uh, so whichever tour you're traveling on, just uh, click on the link and we're going to go through them. I'm going to basically say 1 all the way to uh, 30. But I'm going to use the um, Ghana May 2019 uh, list because that's the... Uh, Next journey we're on, uh, but I'm also saying that it's rel relevant to every other uh, journey, right? But also the other uh, documentation that's on the uh, website for the uh, Ghana tour May 2019 and Ghana December uh, 2019, since it's the same exact um, list of articles. Uh, general terms, overview, itinerary, visa guidelines. Tour preparation, what to pack, Ghana culture and customs, improving your immune systems, Ghana language, tree translation, and then departure minor list, which we're going to go through. And then one I have for South Africa, that journey is, uh, that's a, that's a less, uh, less, um, and you know, I'm sure once, you know, Go to go there some more times and things. Maybe just add some few more unique lists like language translation and things like that. But uh, the list of articles that I actually have on the website to give you full clarity is a tour overview. Let's give you the the list of the um, the flight details, what's included, what's not included, uh, the different parts of uh, South Africa we're going to, and also uh, the different things that we're going to be doing. So as much as as possible to give you an overview. And then you have the full itinerary that I give you the full day to day. And then in the, with dealing with South Africa, we have five full days in Johannesburg, including one day out for safari. And then we have three full days there in Cape Town. And then it talks about a round trip flight that's included from Johannesburg to Cape Town and then back from Cape Town to Johannesburg. And when you're dealing with these uh, flight schedules, what I do my best to do is uh, put all of them in the flight itinerary. So once you read through the flight itinerary, you see the flow of the flight schedule, and that's just give you this best clarity. Also, another article that we have for South Africa is the uh, visa clarification. Uh, last year, um, last conference call, I talked about the uh, Ghana visa, but uh, in this case, in South Africa, there's no uh, visa. And it talks about, once you click on the link, it talks about that if you have a U.S. Uh, passport and you're visiting for less than 90 days, you don't need a visa. So that's relevant to all of us. So that's, uh, so that's uh, documentation there for clarity. And if you're traveling with us to Ghana, all you have to do is click on the, the visa link right there on the um, list of uh, Ghana articles, and it'll give you full details of, of all the information and also have an um, application to download. So uh, while I'm working to put all these things that's uh, online, the visa is one of those things where additional information that you need will be typed up at the bottom. So anything I send you or whenever you look at anything for us, you always want to make sure that you scroll all the way down to the bottom. Uh, a lot of times this information is missed because you know, scroll down to the bottom, uh, especially when you're dealing with PDF files, uh, which are popular files I like to send uh, with documents. But nevertheless, all those things are here on the website. So in this, as long as you click and scroll, you'll find uh, all of the information. Uh, here also in the South African link, I have a improving your immune system. That's November 2019. SA November 2019 tour. So everything that I have is just titled as best as possible, possible based on all the, uh, based on, um, the relevance of information. All right, so let me uh, go and go through this uh, departure reminder list and uh, and a reminder again, uh, whatever journey you're taking with us, uh, there's uh, always a departure reminder list, and uh, we're going to go through that one for May 2019. 
And the, f the first thing it talks about is what we uh, just talk about all the documentation. So all of the Ghana Tour May 18 documentation is found on the website the website on the uh, main menu. Right. And it provides the link right here for this one in case somebody printed it off and maybe we're sharing it. All right, two. Uh, Prior to departure, Africa for the Africans will collect tips for hospitality services that will be provided in Ghana. This amount is based off the numbers of confirmed tour participants. This will serve as a separate charge for the tour and will be collected on the departure date upon arrival at Atlanta or Amsterdam. Total per person is $50. This will allow us to exercise services. You can give additional tips to anyone who gives you great services or whoever you choose. This is basic tips for all Africa, for the Africans, uh, Ghana staff, uh, and that's also the same situation in South Africa. Yeah. Guides at uh, all sites, hotel staff, entertainment, all other services uh, may be provided on this tour or tip if you choose basis. So uh, it's just a collection of all of the things that uh, we just break down that just we take care of our folks uh, there in the ground. Uh, three, um, when you visit, do not come with a romanticized notion about Ghana slash Africa or you will be disappointed and unnecessarily frustrated. Come with open eyes and an open mind knowing that Ghana is a developing nation. There is much to do and we can be a positive, contributory, part of it. Keep in mind that Ghana slash Africa is not America or Europe, nor do we want it to be. We're Mother's Africa children returning home and we want to be a, a part of Mother Africa growth and development. At four, Delta Airlines e-ticket. Uh, right, so this talks about um, logging into Delta.com. Uh, so for those who are leaving with me, uh, we're working on the point where in a, sometime this week, you'll be able to um, I'll be able to uh, send you your uh, login, and you'll be able to log in, check your routes and everything, uh, make sure everything is good, and then we'll finalize the balance on the uh, the tickets that uh, we have reserved for you. So that's all that uh, that talks about. So the uh, with group booking, you have 30 uh, days before departure to close on all your booking. Uh, we usually do our best to work it between 45 to 60 days. Uh, so that's what that uh, note uh, talks about. Five, make sure you secure your personal documents, including passport tickets. Uh, scan a copy of these documents, save on your email, and leave a copy with family members. So let's talk about this um, ways to this. Make sure that you're secure and make sure you have copies of everything. All right. uh, six, uh, please verify all travel documents and have them secure for your travel date. Seven, arrive at the airport two to three hours to give yourself enough time to check in, go through security, and get on the flight. Eight, check baggage. Two check-in bags, each with 50 pounds limit per bag. Make sure your bags are secure with a lock and name tag. Verify all labeling of bags direct to ACC uh, Ghana. Put your bag receipt with your passport and ticket. Uh, Delta charge $100 for overweight bags with you between 51 to 70 pounds and $200 for an additional check bags. No bags are allowed over 70 pounds. All right, so those are the same uh, floor regulations for all of the tours that we do. We make sure that we uh, have a deal to where no matter where you're flying from, it's two bags. So you never have to pay for any additional check bags. Well, you have two bags, and if you go over, uh, you have to pay um, $200 for another bag for those who want to bring things going there or bring things back. So you want to calculate that cost between any other cost. It includes you know, shipping. The good thing about whatever you decide to put in an additional bag, it will be with you, and you'll get it right, right at that time. If you do Delta um, cargo or if you do any other shipping method, it's going to take a few days to a few weeks and so on uh, based on the, the method. And right, so I just wanted to share that with you. And also, um, yeah, that's um, yeah, that's uh, really it. And you, you don't really want to pay $100 for an overweight bag because uh, that only gives you 20 pounds. Uh, you, well, in some people's case, that you know, may be what you need to do. 
Alright, uh, nine, uh, carry on bags. You may carry on one bag and one personal item at no charge. Please note that all items must easily fit overhead, uh, fit in the overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. So that's uh, the floor of regulations right there before your check bags and your carry on bags. So this, um, if you don't have any uh, luggage and it's your first time traveling, this get you some, some spinners, get you things that's going to be easy to move around, lightweight, and, and then you know, same thing for your carry-on. You don't want to be lifting in heavy bags. Uh, some airports are different. Some airports, is the, the train and the, you know, the transportation gets you closer to the gates. In some places, like in Amsterdam Airport, you got a long journey of walking. It uh, depends where the gate is. Uh, so I uh, usually just have you know, my 20-inch roll-on, and I put my backpack on my back or just on you know on top of that and just easily push it through but then you know a lot of times I always see people struggling like unnecessary like you know because their bags don't have any wheels and things like that so all those are things that you know you have to think about uh, processing uh, it's just a full flow of journey and it's a lot to think about a lot going on and you know try our best to we, so, so I try my best to cover you know every single aspect of what we do uh, 10. Uh, when packing luggage, remember that less is better. You will want to purchase uh, clothing and artifacts to bring back. So all that is in a sequence of dealing with your luggage and just giving you some good tips uh, for you to be prepared. So we covered 1 to 10 on the departure reminder list. So what I want to do is open the call up. Now for questions just pertaining to what I just talked about, 1 to 10 or just anything in general. I'm going to just do these in segments. This is the first 10 and the next 10, and then the last 10, and then we just do all the questions in between uh, those segments. All right, so if uh, you have any questions, press star 6 to unmute yourself. This is Fatima uh, uh, from Jacksonville. Greetings, Fatima. Good night. How are you? You ready to go to Ghana on your journey of a lifetime? You all ready? Yes, I am. On these tickets... Um, how would we be flying? First class, basic economy, main cabin? I uh, will fly in our economy in the back. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Absolutely. And then once I get everything cleared out in um, closer to the end of the month, you'll be able to upgrade and all those wonderful things. There's uh, economy comfort. Um, they'll give you the option of price, and then there's also uh, first class. So a few people wanted those options, and um, I'll make sure that um, you can you know, look at your options uh, close to that time, and if you need me to assist you with going to it, uh, we can talk about it. Okay, thank you. Absolutely, you're welcome. All right, questions. Those are coming with us to Ghana or South Africa. It's the same thing. What we're talking about is getting prepared for your journey, having all your things together and being clear in all the details and everything. Hi, Bamani. Uh, greetings. Can you give me your name and where you're calling from, please? Uh, this is Lasta. Uh, greetings, Lasta. Uh, what's your question? Yeah. What's the update and the immunization? Can anyone avoid it or not doing it? Uh, you have yeah you have, you have a choice you don't have to you know, you know uh, they can't make no one can make you take it so that's one option you have other option you can get a um you can get a a waiver um, uh -huh. saying that you're immune to maybe um, eggs or just you know, uh, something that medicine most people are, uh, have issues with in the body uh, so allergic to or something like that exactly and that's the word uh, uh, terminology uh, allergic so you have to. Mm -hmm. The doctor and having this uh, write a letter and take a that note. Out. Okay, to that effect. Okay. You can do the natural medicine, but you have to find a doctor that uh, prescribed natural yellow fever tablets or uh, injection, and then um, oh. that's option. Oh. To just take the regular uh, shot and just just be dizzy for a few weeks, and then you'd be good to go. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You know, I'm in Costa Rica now, so that's where I'm kind. Of Connecting for from. Uh, perfect, but you're still uh, going to be back. You're still going to uh, Palm Beach, right? Because that's where we yes, have your yes, departure from. Yes, yes, for sure. Yeah, uh, that, that's nice. So, you, um, uh, what side of Costa Rica are you hanging out in? Uh, one of in Limon and Puerto Puerto Vigo. 
Oh, cool. Limon and Puerto Rico. Well, it sounds like you're journeying around the island. Uh, I was just in and out, like some places, you know, you're just in and out and got to get back to work. Yeah, okay. Yes, I'm enjoying it for a couple of weeks and then head back home to Florida. Well, absolutely. Uh, yeah, Costa Rica is beautiful. This is a nice paradise of haven. Yes, Marcus Garvey Town, I mean, for Limon. <laughs> I'll see you on that side. Got you. I, I didn't hear clearly. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I, was, yeah, um, I did hear about uh, a town of a lot of black people. <laughs> yes, yes. The east, pretty much the eastern side. They refer to it as the Caribbean side. Many of our ancestors from Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean islands had mig not migrated there, but they were they went there under shipping a working contract to build the railroads as well as the Panama Canal. So they've been there since then. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my folks in Central America, absolutely, uh, in the era of Marcus. Yes, yeah, it's beautiful, yes. man. Hopefully you do some documentation and, you know, you come back and, you know, you come back and share them. If you don't want to put them up, I can put them up. Oh, okay. The current, the current vice president of Costa Rica, her ancestor directly from Jamaica, Epsi Campbell. That is a sub -band. The first first African Afro Latino been elected to any of those positions recently. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So, so the wonderful things is going on in Costa Rica. Yes. Yes. Beautiful place. Well, excellent. We'll uh, enjoy, and then you know, we'll, we'll see you shortly in the motherland. Yes. Yes. I do so. Sure. And I just want to have a shout out to the rest of the guests on your line as well. Yeah, we have a lot of shy people and uh, uh, a lot of people that haven't showed up. But uh, nevertheless, I let us stand out. It was good talking with you and now. Uh, we we'll definitely keep in touch and see you on the journey in basically two months. Yes, I'll be listening as well, silently. Uh, excellent. All right, family. Uh, let me get one or two last uh, questions, and then we're going to move on with the rest of the list. And so anyone, if you have any questions, press star six to unmute yourself. And we're talking about uh, us traveling to Ghana and South Africa, and us uh, being clear using the departure and reminder list. All right, so everybody is uh, mute. Hello? Uh, Can you hear me okay? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Can you give your name and where you're calling from? Yes, my name is Bernard Riggins. I'm calling from Cleveland, Ohio. All right, and, uh, Bernard, welcome to the call. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I, I just had a question. Yeah, I was looking to uh, go on the uh, South African and the Ghana uh, tour, but I, I know that the uh, I have time to you know work the plan for the for the South African tour, but I wanted to go in the May. May June um Ghana tour. And uh I was just trying to figure out how I can work that. Maybe I'll call you later off out of off the conference call and we can talk about how I can I really don't have time to make the whole payment, but I was gonna see if uh, I can yeah, talk to you about if you're, calling about if you're calling about trying to get something done right away, uh, um, I'm available later. Uh, just text me um your information and um, Okay. Then um, I'll uh, you and I will talk, and I'll get those emails out to you. And you and I will talk, and we'll just go over everything. Okay, I appreciate it. All right, thanks so much. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so family, let's uh, continue on the list. And also, anyone, uh, if there's any emails that anyone needs, just uh, send an email request, whether that's a visa email, and uh, or a payment options email. I think that's. And also note that both of those links are also on the uh, website, but. The payment options email have an attachment um, for the voided check if you want to use that method. And then um, the uh, visa have a t attached um, sample uh, application, which is what you don't find on the website. So those are the two significant, uh, two significant things that are not on the website. Uh, so uh, if you need those things sent to you because you need uh, the attachment. Um, just uh, send an email, a quick, you know, a quick email, and I'll get that to you right away. And, and also, for those who are still uh, working on a visa and you need a flight itinerary or maybe you didn't receive a flight itinerary, just um, send an email request for that. 
And then uh, in general, anything else uh, that you may need or need clarity of, just send an email and we'll talk about it. All right, so let me continue on the list. 11, bring a set of white, red, black, and green and gold clothing to pay homage to our ancestors. Red, black, and green and gold combination for Ancestor Day 1. In Ghana, that's uh, at Asin Manso, and that's when we're uh, leaving from Kumasi on the way to Cape Coast, Elmina. Ancestor Day 2, it's uh, all white, and that's when we're going to the Cape Coast Holocaust Dungeons. Uh, so those are just, um, and it's just a flow of this connection. Uh, so I always tell everyone that uh, for those who have certain beliefs and things like that, we're not forcing them to wear those colors because I've had deep blacks and those things over the years. Uh, so um, you know, it's you know the journey is flexible. You're free to flow with you know what you need to flow with and everything. Uh, we don't want to you know, but we build certain things just to create a you know, create an energy. So that's one of them. Uh, Twelve, bring any school supplies you can to donate to the children in Ghana. Uh, this includes uh, books, bags, paper, pencil, calculator, clothing, uh, just any kind of material that uh, children may need. Uh, so we're set uh, in Ghana, set to go to uh, Trinity Foundation. That's when we're there doing our, uh, our four days in Accra. And we're set uh, for two schools in the central region. One when we first get to One Africa and then the uh, other when we leave for our Garvey Town which is the Marcus Garvey School on Garvey Town. Uh, so those are the three that are set and it's, you know, it's listed there in the uh, tour itineraries. So that, you know, that gives you a list of those many different things as you know, I talk about trying to just make sure you put balance of different things on the journey just make the journey uh, nice and exciting and it's just a lot of going over a lot of information in the beginning and everything, but all right, we're talking about 12 uh, school supplies. Uh, so that's what I talk about also uh, as far as uh, for those who want to bring back uh, extra things, if you full one bag up of school supplies or those things that you want to get rid of, then that opens up to where that you have an extra bag open of 50 pounds so where you can bring back things you want. All right. So different people have different... Um, the ideas of what they're looking to do and you know it's just a lot of shopping throughout the entire itinerary. At 13, uh, Ghana tour May 22nd. The time frame that we're going to be leaving is a 10.35 flight uh, and we're going to get to Amsterdam at 12.55. Uh, so what we schedule our meet and greet for is two hours before. So our meet and greet will be at 8 o'clock on May the 22nd at the Atlanta airport and we're going to be at the um, the international terminal and it's the Delta departure gate uh, that uh, takes you to Amsterdam. Uh, so once you get to Atlanta, ask an agent um, or you can just look on the screen uh, to direct you. And then we'll get to Amsterdam the next day. Uh, that meetup time frame is going to be two hours before we leave. The same situation. So we leave at we leave at 3.25, so we're set to meet at um, about 1.30, 1.50, 1.30. So around this time, um, everyone will be you know, in the airport, so just, um, just come to the departure gate. Uh, you see me and a few other people, and you'll see, and we'll have everybody in the WhatsApp app, so you can just send a message, say, hey, I just got to Amsterdam, um, and I'm on the way to the gate. And then naturally, for those of us who get there first, we just say, hey, this is the gate that where we are. And then if there's a gate change, we'll communicate. But usually what, what I do is just put everybody on a, a WhatsApp group since our phones won't work. Uh, and Well, some of our phones won't work, but it gives us the best you know, mode to just communicate. All you have to do is connect to the, uh, the Wi-Fi there in Amsterdam. And the same thing when you get to Ghana. At both airports, you have access to just connect to the free Wi-Fi. And if you need to send me a message, you can just send me a WhatsApp message and everyone else will also see it. And if you need to send me a separate message from in the group message, you can just do that. So the WhatsApp app on your phone is ideal for us doing that. And it's the same thing to doing a tour. Sometimes we just post certain pictures and uh, videos on the app. Um, and then you know, we have the Facebook group. Uh, so let me get back to uh, the uh, schedule. 
So yes, yeah, so family uh, again uh, 13 is um, we talk about the uh, meet and greet up time in uh, Atlanta Airport for those who, of us who are traveling you know, from Atlanta, um, but and then ultimately all of us are going to be meeting up in Amsterdam. So that's the the main meet up point, and that is set for 1:30, May 23rd. Uh, 14, bring any necessary medicine that you may need. Uh, so I don't really know what anyone may need because all of us in you know, different climates, different um, backgrounds. Some some people are born more tropical places where it's the body function a little different. So now you know the goal is for everyone to just you know talk to someone or be clear about. Um, you know, anything that they may need based on your situation. 15, camera slash camcorder bring extra film or memory card and rechargeable batteries. If you have electronics, bring a converter, foreign adapters, and an extension cord. So these are just uh, things that uh, you just want to think about before you get there. Uh, there's a mall by you know, Accra. The Accra Mall is right by the neighborhood uh, East Lagarde. And in Kumasi, the same thing. Um, the mall is not too far from the neighborhood uh, where we're staying at um, in Kumasi. So you can always get things that you need, but uh, the best thing to do is just you know, get what you need before you travel. If you, you know you may want to order things on eBay or Amazon, or you may want to just get things in a store. But uh, we just go over these things, so you give yourself a good amount of time to process it. And then for those who are traveling on future tours, it's the same thing. I just usually just keep information like this up. Uh, based on a uh, travel experience, so you just have access to it. And then there's a few things that just got to go back to and update on this list uh, before I send it out to everyone, which is about a month before we leave. And that's you know, because I usually need a reply back confirmation that everyone traveling us went over all of the, the details that we know. can say that we didn't tell them. Uh, 16, uh, travel iron, alarm clock, plastic bags, compact umbrella. Waterproof poncho and other convenient accessories. 17. Mosquito spray or repellent or centinella oil. Uh, so these are not things that you have to bring, but uh, these have dangerous chemicals and some of them are better than others. But uh, just take precaution in this process what you are looking to bring. But nevertheless, uh, anything that you bring over three ounces, you definitely want to make sure that you put it in your you know, your check bags or else you get a chance of losing it if you put it in your carry-on bag. 18, uh, calculator for basic things like currency exchange, uh, Ghana CD exchange rate. And this I have to update, the exchange rate has changed. It's uh, for one US dollars, it is uh, almost five or five uh, CDs. So you're looking at you know, one to five uh, conversion. So for 100 US dollars, you're gonna get 500 Ghana CDs. That is, that is the ratio. Uh, 19, bring as much cash as you think you need. Um, I put on here 400 to 800. Uh, bring Visa card. And also, you can bring a MasterCard. This is, Visa card is more popular. Um, uh, so, But if that's the only card you have, just uh, bring your MasterCard. All of it uh, works here in Ghana. And as things is more advanced, uh, you have less issues. Uh, people ask me about... Um, about um, about traveler's check, uh, you know, Ghana is uh, simple. Um, you just either get your money from the ATM machine or you exchange your U.S. dollars. Um, but those, you know, so, but those are uh, basically the best uh, methods. And then if you're there and you need uh, cash over, you can always have someone transfer your cash over. Uh, so uh, you know, those are uh, options that you have. Uh, Twenty. Uh, the weather is going to be um, you know, beautiful there in you know, both May and um, December. And I've been there to Ghana boat man in December. So you're gonna get um you know get the wor uh, worst you're gonna get is just the low uh seventy low seventies. Uh but for the most part uh, the weather the weather is gonna be around eighty degrees or mid eighties. Uh and just tropical um like a tropical Caribbean islands or South Florida. Uh, bring uh light clothing, sandals, shorts, walking shoes, sundress, tank tops, swimwear. Um, casual slash African clothing for certain nights and uh, nightlife, uh, if, uh, evening events, uh, business networking, conference, uh, welcome and farewell dinner. So we just talk about this uh, dress for the weather and just using, you know, wearing different things. And also note that 
depends on when you're traveling with us. If you're traveling in December, it's going to be much colder, so you have to bring a jacket. But nevertheless, uh, it seems like it's always December on the plane. So just make sure you just bring something. Make sure you bring a sweater or a jacket on the, the flight, uh, regardless of whenever you're traveling with us, um, because it's going to you know, seem like it's just always the same uh, you know, same freezing temperature on there. Uh, so that is uh, the situation. So as I talked about before, this, uh, this thing about being... You know, being prepared on all aspects of everything you need. Uh, that way, everything just runs smooth and to where it's to where yes, it's a little simpler for myself to just flow with the journey and everything. But you know, I still have this a whole lot of this at the keep up with and everything. Uh, so uh, the better everyone can work this out, the better it is for us to you know make sure everybody is fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go through the last ten once we uh, open everything up for questions and get a few questions in. And uh, my goal is not to keep everyone too long on this uh, call. All right, so family, um, the line is open for questions. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, let me just open up from the last person that uh, we had. So Juma, I'm going to unmute you and then just uh, give you a question. Yeah, I'm looking at number 12, right, where it says bank account requirements. Yes, I'm looking at number 12 on the departure list. Um, what about bank accounts? Okay, um, I you know I I heard you say that we should work out something with uh, with our bank to be able to use our ATM cards. But what was this other portion about two passport style pictures, driver's license, and driver's uh, that's license? If you, that's if you want to open up an account. Um, that's if, if you want to open up an account, uh, we have the Black Star Credit Union there um, that comes to our business conference uh, or any other banks and things that we connect with you. That's what oh. I have for so you could just be prepared. And that's where you're going to have your passport and your driver's license, so those documents will be with you. But it's, it's an idea saying that, you know, you take two passport style photos with you. That way you have things ready for any of those things that you want to do. Now, as far as um, everybody, we're on the departure and reminder list on the journey. Oh. 1 to 30, please, can you just get on that list so I can... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, cool. So let me um, refer reference uh, what Jim was talking about. Um, it's uh, it's number 19. We talk about bring uh, as much cash as you think you need, and also we talk about uh, ATM cards. Uh, so what I did reference is, yes, um, you have to... Um, you want to call the bank uh, that way... You know, that way when you go use your card in Ghana, uh, it doesn't get uh, blocked because a lot of times as soon as you leave your, your location and you travel and you use your card once, they may be, may go through, but the second time, more than likely, it get blocked. So given the travel alert is uh, what uh, number 19 also talks about. So perfect, Juma. So it's uh, in 19, it's all broken down. Um, but let me know if you have um, let me know if you have a uh, I only have one last question. I'm about ready to take my shot for immunization, and um, you suggest taking that. As, can I take that shot about a month before I'm um, due to leave? I'll take it as soon as possible. Okay, because I'll be taking. I'll be getting my shot next week. Yeah, that way you don't have any um, reaction. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that's about all I have. Um, I've I've got my Delta confirmation number from you. I got you and Tanya on um, is it on a party of two? Uh, so when I get these things finalized this week, I'll send you your finalized booking for your flight. So okay, got a few people traveling together, so that's my goal is to make sure everybody paired up and know who they're traveling with and all these things. All right, then. Well, thank you very much, man. Absolutely. So it seemed like you're ready to go. Been ready to go, man. Waited all my life for this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, it's uh, well, it gets better. It, it only gets better from here. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Thank you. Right, excellent. Uh, so that will work. Uh, you take care. You too. All right, everyone, we have covered uh, 1 to 20 on the uh, departure and reminder list. And that is for our South Africa and Ghana preparation. All right, last few calls, we went over um, the full tour overview, the full itinerary, and uh, visa information.
Alright, so everyone, let me get back on the site, and I am going to go from 21 to 13 and 30, and then we're going to close out. I right, 21, no photo taken allowed at the airport, state office building, and other government facilities. Your film will be confiscated, and you could be arrested. So when we're on tour and we're driving around uh, the country, uh, we pass by certain places. Uh, we usually just give you the heads up. Um, that way, there's no drama. And then while you're at the airport, the best I can just tell you is uh, be careful. Um, I'm sure you can take pictures and things like that because everybody have a phone. Uh, but uh, just make sure you don't point it t towards anybody that don't want it to be pointed to. So those are just basic stuff. Um, just being careful with um, not taking photos. Uh, 22, uh, Africa for Africa's tours. Um, does not offer travel insurance, so what we recommend is you just um, look at your own uh, resources as far as travel insurance or do a search. But there's a link on the 22 that talks about Passport uh, Health USA. Uh, so if you need any kind of travel services, that's one of the ones that we know a few people went to. And you can just get uh, immunization, you can get uh, then you get uh, travel insurance and all those wonderful travel um, you know, travel services. So, very you know, smart idea, you know, um, a business that provides uh, these kind of travel services. 23, uh, toiletries including uh, tissue, soap, feminine napkins, wet wipes, facial tissues, washcloth, beach towel, laundry soap. And again, these are just, uh, just give me a list of just convenient items. Um, and this is our reminder to just bring everything you need. 24, Ghanaians are very friendly. However, be very wary of people who just want to make quick money off you and make promises they cannot keep. You should know as much as possible about people you are planning to do business with. So that's one situation. And other situation is just, you know, honestly, you know, everybody's all adults coming on here. Um, beyond my little boy, the youngest person, in their mid thirties, um, and my son is eight. Um, but, you know, but uh, you know, this you know, Ghana is different from other places. It's like other places different from Ghana, and just the flow of this how uh, things work is probably you know, somewhat the same. But uh, you know, especially for ladies, just watch out for a lot of slick talking guys who say that they love you and they want to marry you and all kind of stuff. I mean, it's you know, understand that you know. And love is divine, and everybody wants to be in love and everything. But uh, it, I've seen some crazy stuff. Uh, but nevertheless, I don't want to talk about business. But um, you're gonna, I can't stop men from saying nice things to women and things like that. But um, just, you know, be careful because um, at the end of the day, you know, sometimes you're in a situation where every time you hear somebody say something, this person says a king, this person says a prince, and things like that. And, you know, and so, nevertheless, uh, and then the same thing uh, for you know, brothers, uh, you know, just, just the same sequence. And that's the same I was telling, you know, same I tell people that travel me, that wherever we, you know, wherever we travel to, Ethiopia, Brazil, you know, same situation. Yeah? Just be careful. Um, you know, sometimes people say nice things to you because it's what, it's what it is, access to connecting with you here and, you know, getting that access and doing certain things. So it's a bunch of stuff, and uh, you can imagine I have 12 years of some wild stories. Uh, so anyway, it's not uh, secrecy to, you know, I'm swearing to secrecy or nothing like that. It's just letting people know that um, a lot of things have happened, um, and, you know, and including wonderful things also. So you know, I think everything in life is a chance, but... I just can, you know, I'm one of the people that I can, you know, I'm, you know, like people just meet people online and all kind of stuff. It just, I, it's like I just got to know you do background checks and you get medical, dental records, all kind of stuff. Um, but uh, nevertheless, uh, proceed. 25, uh, games for leisure, time, social gathering, and tournaments, including deck of cards, dominoes, chess, general board games. So when, when we're in Ghana, the goal is just to create this incredible social atmosphere, same thing as South Africa, anywhere that, you know, we travel to. Uh, so sometimes we're out, you know, 
and sometimes we're up, you know, maybe in the lobby somewhere playing cards, dominoes, socializing, and things like that. And you know, the goal is to just make sure that um, no one is bored, number one, and just, you know, make sure people have flexibility of just socializing. Um, definitely want to make sure people at least meet a few friends. You know, we feel like we're good at connecting people together, good friends and things like that. Uh, you know, because that's how we build a future in Africa. You know, wonderful people connecting and networking with each other. Uh, 26, uh, emergency things, flashlight, basic first aid kits, laxative, Pepto-Bismol, the cognizant, anti-diarrhea, and so on and so on. All these things just make me just dizzy. But I put a list of them on there because it's a list of this medicine that they may not be natural with. Uh, so people do your research, but these are some of the what you consider emergency medicine. 27, uh, please focus on enjoying yourself and accomplishing your mission. Do not get distracted by others or get caught up into complaining. Uh, it's one of those things where, you know, no matter where you travel and do it, you're going to, you know, you're gonna, you know, people are going to do their things. You're going to see life happening by you. You're going to see people locally doing this and that. Just you know, looking out for folks in this. You know, so let people notice, enjoy your journey and everything. And, you know, sometimes you're going to see things that do not concern us. And the best thing for us to do is to not worry about it, uh, honestly. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so especially things dealing with uh, men and women in love and things like that. Uh, so I guess I was saying earlier, just kind of, Try to keep away from things and tell people to do their best, but um, yeah, you know. But uh, yeah, but nevertheless, I just everything is just so everything is set up to where it's just an organized time to where you're socializing and connected, and we just really want to have positive vibes and beautiful energy and see us as a people get along well with the different amount of us that are traveling and then a the different variation of people that we're going to meet in Ghana. For, Different people that have repatriated uh, to Ghana, and different people from different parts of many different countries, and yeah, and and most of us are traveling here are from America or American citizen, uh, so it's one of those things where you know, you're in Ghana, a country, you know, everybody to someone local in Ghana is more than likely when they look at you, they're thinking you're African American, but nevertheless, um, you know, those of us from the African diaspora, which is you know our region of representation, uh, you know, we just did this to connect and, you know, distill all the myths that uh, folks in the diaspora don't like, folks on the continent, and the people that you're going to connect with us, that we're going to connect you to there in Ghana, you know, they understand that energy, you know, however, there's people here and there that, you know, they believe what they want to believe and things like that, and they continue to reinforce a negative stereotype, because at the end of the day, there's more threats than me having an issue with someone that's born on the African continent and vice versa for, you know, for historical or cultural reasons. Uh, so nevertheless, there's a, a energy to connect us to the people. 28, uh, remember to have your yellow card or waiver presented at the point of entry in Ghana before you get to customs to avoid any delay. So. It's uh, you know it's back to the same scenario. I talk about uh, you either get a yellow card, you either get a um, waiver, or uh, some type of letter. Even if you write it yourself, or just come f and pass through. But nevertheless, um, they're not stopping any of our folks and and delaying them longer than maybe a minute or two. And I'm right there, and others are there to make sure that's the situation. But uh, having a yellow card and just flashing it. Uh, makes it a lot quicker. Uh, anyway, um, 29 and 29. When you get to uh, baggage claim in Ghana, get your own free cart and put your luggage on there only. And just make sure you have all your things organized. And we're gonna organize ourselves, and then we're gonna just all depart baggage claim together. If somehow someone is not doesn't have a bag, we'll make sure that uh, we get them to report it, and then we'll track it to get it to you within the next day or two. Um, so all those are sequence of things that we have worked out. Um, the wonderful thing about it, the last time I remember missing a bag, um, was missing a bag um, was maybe a few years ago. Um, and that was something, a simple situation. You know, these two people actually left their bags there. And then the last time a bag was actually missing was December 2006 when it was just a cluster of a mess when 
Delta first started flying to Ghana. But nevertheless, uh, all those things are worked out. Uh, 30, bring things to the Holocaust dungeon, Cape Coast, um, candles, a picture of an ancestor. Does anything to this make that your special moment? So family, uh, we've gone through the entire departure reminder list for the December and May Ghana tour, and this is also a similar 30-point list that we have for the uh, South Africa journey. So what I want to do is open things up for final questions, and then we're going to close for the night. All right, so anyone have a question, if you're going to press star six to unmute yourself, and uh, we'll go through your question. Uh, yes, I can hear loud and clear. Okay, yeah, this is Mac from Dallas, Texas. And uh, just wanted to know, uh, do they have any, like, washing facilities to wash your clothes at the hotel, or, or how is that? Uh, yes. Um, uh, once you get to the hotel, the best thing to do is to turn in your laundry to the receptionist, and uh, they'll give you a price on your um, on your laundry. And you can do that in Accra, at the Miklin, and in Kumasi. And you can also do that in uh, Takarati and Cape Coast Elmina. Uh, so it all just depends. But make sure that you do it when you first get to the hotel. That way, uh, if there's any delay, the worst thing they do is if they can't get it to you the next day, they get it to you the day after. Okay. All right. Great. Yes, but there are laundry uh, um, facilities, and it's done by, you know, the um, laundry service that do the same as the uh, hotel laundry. So they do have the in-house uh, laundry facility. All right. Thanks. Uh, excellent. And perfect. Uh, we're almost there, uh, Mac. Um, almost there. Uh, so just uh, two more months, and we'll be there, and we'll be just enjoying paradise. Well, my name is Courtney. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, uh, Courtney. Uh, greetings. Uh, go ahead with your question. Yes, uh, just a quick question about the food. So I'm a vegetarian, and I know I've indicated that for you already. Uh, do you have an idea of whether the um, food for me would be vegetarian, vegan, or is there a difference? Uh, no, we all eat the same food. Um, you have a um, combination of people. majority of people are vegetarian, um, and then um, you have a you have you people eat chicken and fish, so all of those things are on the buffet along with uh, mixed veggies, uh, sautéed veggies, um, rice, um, yams, um, maybe a few different, maybe one or two different type of soups. So it's a blended um, um, buffet uh, menu that we have at the restaurant uh, in the hotel cooking, and then one or two times we were set to, well, one time we were set to eat at a Jamaican Caribbean restaurant with the same type of food set up for vegan, vegetarians, and people who eat uh, you know, meat or, or fish. So you're absolutely fine, um, uh, but um, you're absolutely fine. And if there's any specific thing that you want, you just have to let us know. But beyond that, um, we have a good variety for you. Okay, great. Thank you. I'm so, I'm super excited. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, absolutely. I just you know, just trying to knock out all the formalities and everything, and make sure everybody got visas and things like that. But yeah, once we get there, it's, it's, a, it's a blast, and that's why we have a full schedule. So I tell people just get all their rest and all the stuff they want now, and you know, and just enjoy it to the fullest. That's so perfect. That's a family. Um, we're gonna close in a few minutes, so we are open for questions. This is Tori in Florida. And I have a question about bringing items back. Uh, besides the weight limit, is there anything we should be careful about bringing back, uh, like shea butter or black soap, uh, in our luggage? Uh, no, green story. Yeah. No, you don't have to. Um, um, you have no problem bringing that back. Uh, just make sure everything is secure. And then naturally, if you have something that's oversized, you just got to get it wrapped up real good and then see if you can bring it as a carry-on or check it as an extra piece of luggage or get it shipped. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. All right, everyone, we are getting ready for our wonderful Ghana journey. So the good thing is everything is online, so I'm sure everyone is all clear and updated on all of this information. All right. And then uh, for anyone that's uh, listened to the call that um, 
we don't have a deposit for which makes you not confirm this uh, give me a call let me know and that way we can uh, lock down tickets for you because once the December price ticket gets to the point where it won't work in the budget range of the price list then we can only offer you a land package and then you have to purchase your own ticket so the December tickets do get as high as two to three thousand um, dollars because that's what I saw based on this past uh, December and one of the quotes I got uh, um, for the following December but nevertheless um, and all the details are just up there on the website so anyone that's interested in anything uh, whether it's the Garvey Town investment um, or do one of our tours the information central is right there and available to answer any questions or just have a conversation about anything um, different people want to talk about different things uh, it really honestly don't matter to me you know what made there to do made there in Ghana to represent in the cause for everyone that's traveling with us and make sure that uh, they get the best out of their journey and you know, hopefully we get a few people just looking to live and do business in the country but um, you know once you have a great time so anything it doesn't matter what it is if you want to talk to me about anything I'm available early in the morning from 8 o'clock all the way to uh, midnight and uh, if you don't get me because I'm moving around doing other things just leave a message or send a text message and I'll call you back or and we'll talk so at no point um, if you need to talk to me you should have to wait no within a day uh, so it's all about the stock communication and yeah. right, so family um, thank everybody for joining our conference call this beautiful Sunday and look forward to connecting with everyone on the next conference call and all of the details for all future conference calls is right there on the main menu on our website on the conference call but also on the uh, front page of the uh, website itself and then when you send conference call recordings it usually tell you the next conference call and then we post everything on the YouTube on YouTube pages so anyone that's uh, traveling with us um, or is interested in Garvey Town I have group pages for all those uh, you know, you know, for all those things that we have. So, the example, you travel with me with us, just type in Ghana Tour May on Facebook and then just add yourself to the group page and then I'll prove it. But that's one of the main things we can do up, upload pictures and videos on all these uh, tours that we do on the group page and then keep it going as we build documentation. So, family, the last uh, thing um, is a YouTube page. So, once you go to youtube.com forward slash Bomani2007. I have just a list of uh, you know, organized playlists but once you click on playlists right above it will give you a list of just all different variation of playlists uh, you know dealing with different aspects of the aspect of the tour especially like Garvey Town um, investment conference uh, African Holocaust dungeons uh, school supplies uh, things like that uh, so navigate search and the same thing with our Facebook page, facebook.com, um, forward slash Bomani. Once you get on the page, you can click on albums and just navigate around, and you just see tons of uh, documentation. And once you're clear on the documentation, just reach out to me and connect, and we'll get you ready for uh, the journey or ready for your investment. So, family, once again, this is Bomani Tayamba, and it was good connecting with everyone. We'll unmute the call and close the call. Everyone, good night. Good night. All right, so everyone, good night. Good night. All right, so everyone, good night. Everyone, take care. Good night. Okay, man. Take care.